Every September 9, the Catholic Church celebrates St. Peter Claver, a Jesuit missionary who spent his life in the service of African slaves, brought against their will to South America during the 17th century. Peter Claver was born into a devoutly Catholic and prosperous farming family in the Spanish village of Verdú in Catalonia on June 26, 1581. It is important to note that Peter was born 70 years after King Ferdinand of Spain set the colonial slavery culture into motion by authorizing the purchase of 250 African slaves in Lisbon for his territories in New Spain. Later, as a student at the University of Barcelona, Peter was noted for his intelligence and piety. After two years of study there, Peter wrote these words in the notebook he kept throughout his life. I must dedicate myself to the service of God until death, on the understanding that I am like a slave. After he had completed his studies, Peter entered the Society of Jesus in Tarragona at the age of 20 as a novice. After completing his novitiate, he was sent to study philosophy at Palma, Mallorca where he came to know an older Jesuit lay brother, Alphonsus Rodriguez, known for his holiness and gift of prophecy. Rodriguez felt that he had been told by God that Peter was to spend his life in service in the colonies of New Spain, and he frequently urged the young student to accept that calling. Pope Leo XIII would later canonize both Peter and Alphonsus on the same day, two centuries later. In 1610, Peter arrived in Cartagena, a port city in present-day Colombia. Cartagena was a slave trading hub and 10,000 slaves poured into the port yearly, crossing the Atlantic from West Africa under conditions so foul that an estimated one-third died in transit. Those who survived the journey were expected to be worked to death by their masters. The slave trade was condemned by Pope Paul III. Pope Urban VIII even issued a papal decree prohibiting slavery. However, it was seen as a very lucrative business and continued to flourish. Peter was determined to sacrifice his own freedom to bring material aid and eternal salvation to the African slaves, in keeping with his vow to become the slave of the blacks forever. The young priest made and kept this resolution despite his declining health problems, aggravated by Cartagena's tropical climate, and the language barrier between himself and the population he served. Many Spanish royal officials in Cartagena appreciated Peter's work and made contributions toward the slaves' relief and religious education. The slave traders, on the other hand, found the priest and his interpreters to be a nuisance. Meanwhile, some Spanish expatriates who sought out the priest because of his holy reputation refused to enter the same church or confessional as the black slaves. In order to minister to speakers of a foreign language, Peter often employed pictorial representations of Catholic truths. He also communicated by means of generosity and expressions of love, giving food and drink to the ailing workers and visiting them during bouts of sickness that often proved fatal. We must speak to them with our hands before we try to speak to them with our lips, Peter said about his work. In keeping with his vow of slavery, Peter survived on minimal amounts of food and sleep. His life of humility and penance led to miraculous occurrences, as when he healed the sick with the touch of his cloak or appeared surrounded by a supernatural light during his hospital visits. In the last years of his life, Peter was too ill to leave his room. He died on September 8, 1654. It is said that he had baptized and taught the faith to more than 300,000 slaves during his four decades in Cartagena. On the occasion of the canonization of Peter Claver, Pope Leo XIII said about the life of St. Peter Claver, No life, except the life of Christ, has moved me so deeply as that of Peter Claver. Many organizations bear the name of St. Peter Claver, including the Knights of Peter Claver Incorporated, Apostleship of the Sea, and the Missionary Sisters of St. Peter Claver. There are also multiple parishes dedicated to St. Peter Claver, which can be found in several cities in the United States and in Nairobi, Kenya. Schools dedicated to his name can be found in Decatur, Georgia, in Pimville, South Africa, inside the Diocese of St. Petersburg, and in the state of Florida. 
the Congress of the Republic of Colombia declared September 9 as the Human Rights National Day in his honor. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.